hello everyone welcome to our next vlog so in this vlog actually we will continue the previous one which is yesterday we have discussed about if you uh, please go through the if you don't uh, uh, like see in that particular vlog so you can go on through that particular vlog so in that last vlog we have discussed about uh, two things mainly like how to set up a lab for one web application penetration testing and second is the using a bub suit how to configure the proxy basically now this will blog will be the continuum part of the vulnerable pen testing lab environment which we have used as an open source and which is developed by Aditya Raj okay so for going to that one unless I am uh, that documentation which I already explained yesterday like uh, uh, that documentation is available in that particular zip file so on that only we are continuing and I will explain about like what are the things and now I will try to install that uh, vulnerable apps which are not installed or not working status okay so let's jump into like uh, read this document quickly and go on through that so the, the, the like VPLE is an intentionally vulnerable Linux virtual machine. This is a VM can be used to conduct the security training, test security tools, practice common pen testing labs, and these are the then the password is the administrator and username and password is the password basically. So long this is a login which I already showed you yesterday on how we will get the IP address that also I showed yesterday now and these are the labs, multiple labs are there like DVWA lab okay web code b web o apps jews like multiples are there and these are the copyrights of dark king okay and how to use it like i already showed that one just we need to after finding out the ip address we need to jump into uh, in a browser and then try to access them which we already accessed if you can see so if you can see my screen like I already got that particular IP address by host and hyphen I and this of the uh, machines. Okay, so first we will why what we'll do like just copy this IP address. Okay, and uh, now we will add port number one five five one double three five. Okay, first like okay now yesterday i also showed like so i'm going as a continue of the document basically first uh, as i can see if you're going down okay they first going through the dvwa only for installation so i will go also and show you how to install the dvwa simple very simple not a big issue so uh, username is admin and password is a password we we'll log in it okay we can see dot like these are the function disable and all that thing and uh, these are the missing things okay, so what will we do just we will click on the create database create database is created done now we will try to log in again and check we are able to inside that lab yeah that's done very simple very good work so we are inside that particular vulnerable uh, web application and we can just start working on it like we can try one uh, any any like reflected accesses okay that's cool like let me try any random yeah it's working fine uh, so this is one thing now let's jump into next one the IP address is same and the port number is 1336 okay now look as i think is a we will click on opt out oh done yeah so sec we are talking about a modality basically so modality is the application which is oaps modality okay and what is oaps oaps is a open web application security project okay it is a like a community i can say very simple like uh, so this community will help to all the security researchers by after like or in this community multi lots of security researchers are involved okay and they contribute their experience of web application penetration testing or apis or 
like iot related or thick climb related and all they will give their experience and expertise by contributing there as a in the standard so in this particular standard so that that will be one standard will be created and this will be for, which is called of top 10 and this will come after two to three years uh, and they will do some changes and change the position of the attacks like injection attacks will become which position after like how new trends are coming basically what type of attacks are coming and what are the new trends and according to they are categorized the different different type of attacks suppose the access will become injured and SQL injection will become in which like which type of uh, category and how we will uh, differentiate the position according to the um, current trend okay according to that current trend how that will like different type of attack so that will be the OS related top 10 and like modality we already installed now next will be the we will go to web code so web code will be the ip and uh, the same ip and this is the port number so uh, it's not working okay 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 i think we need to add this part also and check it out and Oh yeah, it is working. So it is, I think already, let me just web go to user, guest, guest already given. So you guys, you can utilize these application, different, different, different application to practice yourself, to skill yourself, to improve yourself in web application penetration testing. And if you can see lots of attack left side are present, like that way you can do it. And just, I'm not uh, going through on deep on everything, but one by one, I'm showing you how you can, if it is installation is required or not. And or like, like that way. Now quickly we will jump into bweb bweb is a very popular and very good in when i started my career i used to do play with this particularly application lots of for learning purposes okay so i just do a click here to install simply and it is installed very quickly very good work by aditya raj because I am why I'm saying because he is the main person who created this one and very easily it is set up and in very less time quickly and we are doing just we are using that one see if you can see like it is easily uh, we are able to access and we can practice on it so like that way we have to go one by one one by one and do that thing so next one will be the uh, over juice shop let me just try to access it quickly so I will try to wrap up in I think in this blog all the installation and anything so next blog we can start and pick anyone okay I think it is already installed everything yeah I want login so we can create enter any and we can create i think and then log in and practice it so i think it's not required installation as he also not mentioned for installation like let's jump into security ninja so i am just going one by one to show you all guys like how we can check it out like easily see very good quickly we can type abc dot com simply to check it out yeah so abc.com yeah it's working let's jump into next wordpress one Meanwhile, it load. I will give you one tip. 
okay so i uh, always always keep in your mind as much you practice yourself you will be more hands on dirty and you will more practice okay then you are more confidence basically so that's one more i want to say say like you should more practice basically okay let me just uh, uh, i think we need to enter password username password is user i think we can add as admin and password is a password same and localhost and wordpress database is wordpress one thing it's fine on this side it means that the username password information and web forms file incorrect try again wordpress one okay username is username okay i think we need to use same file is incorrect or we cannot contact the database server at localhost this will be like okay mm -hmm. and uh, 192 dot 168.80128 or let's jump into document what he mentioned if he has any mention any document click go down go down go down go down where to shop or near WordPress mm, WordPress is a free and open source contains um, written in PHP paired with MySQL feature included plugin architecture template system refer WordPress blah blah document these are the text information about WordPress I think he not mentioned that one so let us troubleshoot that issue so that we can start working on it so I just mentioned that I updated the IP address randomly I'm not sure it will work or not mm, cannot contact to the database server so and let me just remove it to 127.0.0.1 and try <laughs> okay let me troubleshoot it and uh, quickly so we tried that one but I think there's some misconfiguration I think in WP config file and it's not working and I tried with other details but it's not working no problem so for WordPress installation I will uh, create a separate block no no issue in that so I, I used to do WordPress development also previously not in big deal for that so I will do this thing because that, that I need to find out that it will take more time so I don't want to waste on that uh, configuration and all for WordPress I, I will create a separately with the latest uh, WordPress version and I will show you all that thing whenever I have uh, other topics to cover so because the, I think he included WordPress basically to in, uh, give a how the WordPress website has been developed, what are the configuration plugins and all that is involved in WordPress and how uh, there's a scanners for available for WordPress scanning and all that. So maybe that's why he included WordPress also to cover all the things related to WordPress as a web development related and all what uh, web pen testing, where the website which is created in WordPress, so related pen test for that one so no problem thanks thanks for watching this video and uh, please like our channel uh, please like this video and subscribe our channel and uh, click on bell icon so you will get a updated notification of new videos and all that thanks thanks for watching your thanks for your time